with me. People from near and far fill the Perot Museum Monday, ready to take in the celestial spectacle of the total solar eclipse. It's once in a lifetime for a lot of people. Families like the Copes, dad, son, and grandma, who came in from Denver. My mom came up with the idea that we should come down here and uh, we were looking at different places. We settled on Dallas. Most at the museum understood the basics of what was about to happen and we're ready as the sky progressively got darker and the temperature dropped. But even with the anticipation, the actual moment the moon and sun aligned, still caught us all by surprise. <laughs> That's unreal. We heard cheers, then an eerie quietness. Everyone's eyes to the dark skies. It feels like night. For roughly four minutes, we took it all in. When you look up, Pardon? Wow. What is happening? The rare sight was last seen in Dallas in 1878, and it won't occur again for some 300 years. It didn't feel like night. It didn't feel like day. It felt like something else entirely, and it was really stunning. Then just as it started, the total solar eclipse ended. Lightness progressively creeped back in. Birds once again started chirping. Nature falling back in line. I'm really happy we got to see it here. I'm really happy the clouds played ball because, oh man, <laughs> that was awesome. That same sentiment across the Perot as everyone thanked Mother Nature for giving us a break and opening the skies. In Dallas, I'm Janelle Ford.